Hi, this is Harish Bali from Technofair.com. I use spinning on my Android device when I'm handing it over to my son to play video games. I'll show you how to enable it and use the same. Go to settings of your device. Scroll down and go to security under personal section. Scroll to the bottom of the page and you will see screen pinning. Open the same and enable it from the top. As an additional security, you may lock the device when unpinning. There are three options, pattern, pin and password. Let me pick a pattern, continue, enter again, confirm. Show all notifications, that's done. These are the basic settings that you can keep as turned on. Let me pick up an example where I am handing over my device to someone and want to restrict the usage only to web browser. So I'll open the app Chrome. There are few apps that are already open on my Android device. I simply need to tap once on this quick view button, bottom left. Last opened app always shows up at the bottom, which is Chrome in this case. Tap on the taskbar and drag it upwards till the middle of the screen like this. And you will notice this pin on the bottom right of the app. Here it is. Tap on it. And this particular browser is pinned. Screen is pinned. This keeps it in view until you unpin. Touch and hold back and overview at the same time to unpin. Got it. I can access any website from browser. Move from one side to another easily. If I attempt to go back to the home screen, it's not working at all. I am also not able to do anything else on my mobile device other than using this web browser. Now the way to unpin this is simultaneously do a long press on this quick view button and back button on your mobile device. Let me do that. It's asking me to enter the pattern that I have set. And now I can access my Android device. To turn off the settings, go back to the settings section. Security. Scroll down to the bottom. Screen pinning. Turn it off. Back. If you don't need pattern anymore, scroll down to the top of the page. Screen lock pattern. Tap on it. Enter the pattern that was saved. And choose none. Okay. Back to the home screen. Just to remind again, this process works on Android Lollipop. Next time you hand over your device to someone, just try pinning an app and I'm sure you will find it easy to use. Well, if you found this tutorial good, do give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.